रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पति ये नम किशन दंड चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी थ्री शत बली गोज नॉर्थ द रेसिटेशन बिगिन Then Sugriva called unto him a mighty hero Shatbali by name and spoke to him thus with an eye on the interest of Rama and of himself Thousands of monkey like unto yourself in prowess ministers and the progeny of the lord of death shall go with you from here to explore the northern quarter of which Himalayas form a fitting ornament If we succeed and bring delight to the heart of Raghunatha, we would have, in a way, discharged the deep debt of our obligation to him and won for ourselves untold merit. For he has done for us what no other can do, and unless we are grateful to him, our lives are but a curse and a waste. I count him as a man and truly born into the world who is approached by another that has done him no benefit before and yet sets about accomplishment of his desire at once Now we have received from the hands of Rama everything that we hold and enjoy then our duty to him is boundless If as I think you are always bent upon my greatness and glory you will imprint upon your hearts my words and take steps to find out the abode of Sita the entire creation blesses itself in honoring Rama he is the greatest of men his might is something unthinkable when it bends itself to destroy his enemies and such a one has deigned to bless us with his friendship So search e most carefully in forests mountains and rivers starting from here you will cross the mlecha pulinda surasena prasthala bharata the southern kuru madraka kamboja yavana shaka arataka bahalika rishika paurava tankana china further china nihara darada and other countries Forget not to explore most carefully the lakes and the deodar forests of the Himalayas. Then ye pass by the hermitage of Soma and come to the mountain Kala, held in reverence by the Devas and Gandharvas. Search ye there very carefully. Beyond lies the charming mountains Sudarshana and Devashaka. Search ye there. Beyond that extends hundred yojanas of frightful desert, unknown to lake, river, tree, bird, or beasts. You will fly over it and set your eyes on the great Kailasa mountain. On it, Vishwakarma has fashioned for Kubera a lovely residence like unto a white cloud bank. You will find the lake Manasa teeming with lotuses, swans, and other waterfowls. The apsaras make it their favorite resort. There resides Kubera, the lord of the Yakshas and the Guhyakas, holding sway over the wealth of the earth. Search ye most carefully in every part of that mountain, white like the moon. Proceed next to the Kraunchya mountain and explore the vast cave cut out in it by the dreadful weapon of Skanda. But it is said that none dare enter it. There reside in it, however, some Maharishis resplendent as the sun. They assume the forms of the devas and are the objects of their worship. Explore carefully the Kraunchya, its caves, its peaks, its slopes, its rifts, and surrounding lands. Then your care should be devoted to the Kama Shaila, bear of trees, where Manmata, the god of love, sat in deep meditation in the far past. Then you come to the Mount Manasa. which the very gods danavas and rakshasas dare not approach but you should not omit to search every part of it beyond it is the mountain mainaka where maya the asura has built for himself a charming mansion it is the abode of the kim purusha ladies beyond it are the hermitages of siddhas vaikanasas valakhilyas and other great yogins They have reached the farthest limits of tapas and shine in their matchless radiance free from the taint of sin touch their feet in reverence and enquire from them of sita there is a name by the name vaikanasa with golden lotuses and swans radiant as the morning sun sarva bhoma the elephant of the quarters upon which rides kubera disports itself there with its mates 
Beyond that is a vast expanse, almost boundless, unknown to the rays of the sun and the moon or the fleeting clouds. But it is ever bright with the radiance of great yogis that make it their abode. Beyond it flows the river Siloda, lined with bamboo forests. These twine themselves together inextricably and form useful bridges for the rishis to cross the water. Beyond that lies the country of Uttarakuru, specifically set apart for such as have laid up great merit. Charming pools covered with golden lotuses and countless rivers whose waters flow beneath the thick flowers with emerald leaves are to be found there. Its lakes charm the eye with their countless varieties of golden flowers. Blue lilies with golden stalks and leaves of diamonds, shoals of golden sand encrusted with pearls and gems, trees of flashing precious stones ever in bloom and fruit, meet your eye everywhere as also rare birds of wondrous beauty. Some of the trees produce for you celestial perfumes, drinks, and such other objects as you may desire. Others create for you curious garment and priceless ornaments such as gladden the hearts of man and woman. Others confine themselves to giving curious beds, seats, and garlands. Some limit themselves to giving delicious confections and drinks. Their disport with their wives, radiant Gandharvas, Kinnaras, Siddhas, Nagas, and Vidyadharas, all of supreme merit, ever happy, with nothing to desire or work for, and deeply attached to their wives. The sweet sounds of song, music, and laughter are ever heard there, for there is none who is not supremely happy, nor wants a wife to share it with him. Nay, their bliss and noble excellences increase ever. Last you come to the shores of the salt ocean and the mountain Somagiri. They that proceed to the worlds of Indra and Brahma fail not to visit it, for it lies on their path. The sun shines not there at night, but the splendor of the mountain makes it bright as day. There dwells the Lord Vasudeva, whose garment is this vast universe, and whom infinite excellences adorn. The Lord Mahadeva, who shows himself forth as the leavened Rudras, and Brahma, the Lord of the gods, ever worshipped by the Brahma Rishis. Further you cannot go. Why, the devas and the kind find it no light task to proceed as far as Somaguri. So pay your respects to the mountain and set your faces homeward. Thus far shall mortals go. The oceans and islands beyond are not lit by the rays of the sun and are shrouded in eternal darkness, unrelieved by town, village, hamlet, lake or river. I have not seen them myself nor heard any speak of them. Search very carefully through the places I have described to you and bring me news of Ravana and Sita. You would have gladdened the hearts of myself and Rama thereby, and a life of honor, ease, and comfort stretches before you thereafter, yea, for yourself and for your friends and kin. Manglam Goshlin Raya Mahaniya Gunavdiya Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaya Manglam